Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. So I've had V10 now for a couple days, and if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm really impressed and I really love the user experience. In this video, I wanted to show you a smart summon test that I was able to do today in the rain, and also talk to you about the venting windows through the app and how it's different from the X and the 3. So I went out to GameStop recently, with my boy to go get a controller so that I could play Cuphead, which by the time this video airs, I'll probably have already played Cuphead live. So hopefully you guys got to tune into that. So I'm here with my son and it just started raining. So I don't really want to take a baby out to the rain. So this is a perfect example where I can pull my phone right out of my pocket and turn on the smart summon. So that's what I do. And if you notice where my target point on is in the app, I'm gonna use the crosswalk there for a reference. I pull it to the right of the crosswalk in hopes that it'll pull out of this line, uh, this lane and then kind of pull closer to the curb. So let's see how this test goes. So pulls out of the parking spot at a reasonable speed. The wipers are going bonkers. It doesn't look like as I'm watching the video right now, it doesn't look like that heavy of rain, but it was definitely raining pretty steady. And you see the path, it, I like how it, well, I was gonna say, I like how it was sticking to the correct side of the lane of that road right there, but then it kind of swerved to the left. I wanna go back and slow it down real quick. Look what the app is telling me, pausing for intersection. So the car is smart enough to realize that there is an intersection here and actually come and like slow down, not to a stop necessarily, but it's pausing, recognizing that there is an intersection here, and so it needs to kind of slow down before it keeps going. Now, from the beginning point of this turn, I can realize that it's not going to pull alongside the curb like I had hoped, and it looks like as soon as the nose of that is gonna get into the target, it is just gonna stop right there, sort of in the middle. I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, there's nobody in that car. Wow. Nice thing about Smart Summon is I just picked another point in the map and I was able to send my car away from traffic. So in my version 10 software update video, I had shown you this footage of my Model X and it not venting. A couple people had commented uh, during the premiere saying that, well, I think it was because the front window was down. So I started thinking, okay, maybe that is the case. So with my Model 3, I did get that out. And as soon as I hit the vent button, it did show me close and didn't get that warning like I did with the Model X. So I was able to vent it and then I was able to close the windows as well, uh, unlike the Model X, which has a older software, or I'm sorry, older hardware. It's a 2016 Autopilot 2.0 car versus this 2.5 Model 3. So I did roll the front window down to do the exact same test and I still was getting close rather than vent. So it looks like Older cars are only able to vent the windows and not able to close the windows. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure, if, if you know, please definitely leave a comment down below. I'd love to know why the older cars, like what kind of hardware is in the newer cars allowing them uh, to go, to recognize the position of the window versus just vent the window. So with the windows, all the windows down, I was getting that close uh, option there and I was able to close the windows completely all from the app, which is great, it's a great function to have. So now that all the windows are up and it does say vent, I wanted to know if I went back into the car and rolled the windows down, would the app change? So if we look at the app here, as soon as I start rolling all the windows down, then it gives me the option to close. So it's definitely able, it must have another window sensor that's able to tell when the window is up versus down or even slightly down so it's able to give you the option to vent or close all the windows and it's able to recognize that versus the older model x that i have which is a 2016 autopilot 2.0 hardware which says hey gives you a warning you're not going to be able to roll the windows back up and only gives you the option to vent the windows so I hope this video clears up anything that I had missed in my original software update video, but I have a lot more, in, uh, in, I almost said enhanced summon, or smart summon test plan. So definitely stay tuned for those on the channel. If you've got a Model 3 and you're still waiting for the V10 update, 
go ahead and click the link down below and get yourself one of these glass screen protectors to install. So next time you're playing Cuphead and you throw the controller at the screen, this screen protector breaks rather than your LCD display breaking. So this is a really high quality screen protector here. So I'm gonna install this for you guys here. The install is pretty simple. I went into screen cleaning mode to put this thing on there, but you have to be really careful to line up all the edges. You can see I thought I had it all lined up, but when I came out of screen cleaning mode, I'll get a little bit closer look. You can see it wasn't exactly right and that would have driven me nuts. It was just a little bit not square. So I did go really slow, peel it up, and take a little bit more time to line it up perfectly on the screen. So I'll leave a link down below in the description for this glass screen protector. Huge shout out to my all electric tier supporters, our Mana Min and Akram Atul. Thank you so much guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.